Pushing Down the Barriers is a youth volunteering programme. It's a three year funded project working with 13 to 25 year olds across South Hampshire to encourage them to get out and do practical conservation tasks and learn about wildlife and to learn bushcraft skills as well. The project was created as we saw a need to work with more young people um, and we wanted to develop our work that we'd already started. My, my main, main purpose of my job is to engage with young people, so 13 to 25 year olds, get them involved in nature conservation and teach them about the values and the enjoyment that can be found in the, in the natural world. I was attracted to this project by the proposition of, of working, continuing to work in conservation, which is my main passion, and to teach young people uh, that the natural world can be enjoyed and it's a wonderful place to, to spend lots of time in. It's really important for young people to understand conservation. They're the future, so it's really important that the next generation has an understanding of the benefits of working and to protect the environment. I try to create a very informal, relaxed working environment. Um, being outside kind of lends itself very well to just sort of being relaxed and calm and quiet and, and positive. I found that most young people uh, didn't really know what nature conservation was. It was a new concept to them. But I did find that after a few weeks of taking them to different habitats, different nature reserves and country parks, and explaining about the different types of habitats and the different way we manage them and the reasons why we manage them, they started to build up a, a nice picture uh, that not all two landscapes are the same. We tried to choose tasks um, that were going to benefit the young people by giving them something that's achievable in a short period of time. So for example, if it's scrub clearance, they can actually see what they've done at the end of it and they're skills that give them confidence as well. I think, I think it's really important to give the young people a range of tasks that they learn a range of skills. We use a lots of hand tools and there's lots of different uh, ways to manage different habitats. So it's important to get a bit of diversity rather than just visiting the same site and doing the same task uh, over and over again. The project has really helped the nature reserves that we manage Every site has a management plan and the work that the young people have done has contributed towards that. Pushing down the barriers, uh, volunteers have done a lot of work uh, doing um, vegetation control, uh, scrub management and that kind of thing. Uh, also helped with access works doing um, path cutting. And then latterly they've been doing uh, bridge building and uh, boardwalk reconstruction which have increased, improves access. The John Muir Award was added to the project because we realised that many young people had no formal qualifications or hadn't achieved much through the formal education process. By encouraging them to take part in the John Muir Award, it allowed them to learn new skills that were formalised and accredited. It's a very flexible award to deliver, um, uh, which helps with the sort of young people that we work with. And it's, it's just it's a fantastic way of awarding the young people for the work and effort that they've put in and for a, a way of, of delivering the sessions with an actual end point. There's been many success stories, for, for example, young people that weren't at school when we first started seeing them for various reasons and who are now uh, have, have attended school for, for a couple of years, gained their GCSE for qualifications and are just about to embark on a further education course at a local agricultural college. But there's been a, an awful lot of success stories in terms of building confidence, building self-esteem and, and opening young people's eyes to the possibilities out there for themselves. When I first started this um, project, I couldn't, I couldn't cut a tree down at all. I couldn't, you know, use a saw. But now I'm skilled. I can, I can cut a tree down. I, I can process it to put, to put it on a fire. I can burn it. The, work, the workers that I'm working with help me a great deal. They don't, they don't say, oh, Ryan can't do this, you can't do that. It's just, it's just pure respect towards me as a person. And I feel that Craig's helped me do that. I mean, each week I come out with Craig and I've met new people every single week. I feel comfortable with that, you know. And I mean, I've helped them because Craig's given me some leadership, you know, being the youth leader and all that. And I feel that by giving that leadership, I can, I can grow as a person, I can help, you know, help people such as myself. The key thing about this project has been our partnership working. We've worked with a whole range of schools right across Hampshire, youth offending teams, social services, youth clubs, youth steering groups. And without those partner organisations, the projects would have been stifled right from the start. So that's been a key part and a very enjoyable part to form those relationships with partner organisations. I think the best thing about this type of project is that the young people are choosing to take part. It's a really relaxed environment, so all the young people can uh, take things at their own rate, learn things at their own rate, and would learn a lot more than they would in school. A lot of them don't work in that environment, and being out and learning in a really practical sense often works for them. I enjoyed the freedom to be able to take pupils out 
with uh, a responsible expert who set the boundaries, as I say, and knew the balance between enjoyment and hard work and got it right all the time. We're having a new school being built here. On the back of Access to Nature, being able to get, uh, get a promise from senior management there will be an outdoor learning area because they have seen the benefits. For me, it's given me a fantastic opportunity to take groups of our young people out. Um, the beauty of this one is that, you know, come with its own transport, our young people were collected, they were driven, they were provided with equipment, with clothing that they wouldn't have had, so it was made so accessible to them. For them to go somewhere completely different that they would never go, to do something completely different that they would never do. Um, I think they had an absolute ball. They, they learned so much about themselves, about each other, and just being somewhere different. The project has been a great success. Over the last three years we've worked with 7,000 young people and dozens of schools, community groups and youth organisations. I feel really proud of what has been achieved and the benefits made to the young people and to the nature conservation areas. I'd like to say a huge thank you to everybody who was involved and especially the funders for all their great support.